Hey guys, look, he's a hamster baby. This is the best way to start a video. I can't tell, are you the girl or are you the boy? Are you the girl? Yay. This is the one I'm gonna be keeping. If you guys have any name ideas, please put them in the comments. Let me show you a close up. Look. So I believe it looks like her coat is turning out to be a marbled coat on top of the normal color. So the way patterns work is they're on top of the color. If you take our online course, you'll learn more about how all the colors work, but Oh my gosh, she's such a sweetie baby. So I'm not exactly sure what to name her. Please put comments down below. Right now, all the hamsters have coffee names except for Pebble. Pebble is the only one that doesn't have coffee names. I'll give you a quick rundown of all the names. We have a coffee, espresso, venti, frappuccino, cinnamon latte, toffee, vanilla bean. I think those are the eight. Maybe I should make it a tradition to start every video with a hamster. Aww. Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I do like a cage makeover and I'm so excited. It's actually this cage. Um, it's Frappuccino's enclosure and my theme idea was a fairy themed enclosure because I wanted to think of something that was like mostly natural themed but like still had a little bit of a twist of a certain type of theme in it. So fairy enclosure just seemed perfect. So that's kind of the theme I went with. Um, the first thing I do whenever I'm like revamping a hamster's enclosure is I'll remove all of the products. I use like a lid from like a tote on the floor so that it doesn't get the carpet all full of shaving, but it will anyways. I remove any of the soil bedding from any of the places of the enclosure. I use white bedding so that I can more easily see if something is soiled or not. For this enclosure, I decided I was gonna make like a boardwalk sort of thing, so I used a baking dish. Makeovers for your hamster's enclosure do not have to be expensive. Like, I should call this on a budget because that's truly what it was. I used a baking dish from downstairs in the kitchen that I just never use to make brownies or anything. I don't, I just don't really bake. And I filled it up with sand and I thought that'll be the perfect bath. And so that's like right in the middle. And then I started adding in other accessories. I had this big glass like flower looking like dish that I filled with cocoa fiber substrate. And I thought that would be such a fun dig box opportunity. Plus it kind of looked like a flower and I was like, oh, fairy themed. And then I took a bunch of bendy bridges. We had extra stock left over from the hamster and me box. So I put those around it as, a, as if it was like a little boardwalk. But then I, of course, wanted the hamster's paws to be safe because they're literally walking on the bendy bridge. So then I thought, hmm, what if I put moss on top of all the bendy bridges? Like, that'd be so cute. So then I filled the, the boardwalk with moss and it literally looked like a forest floor. And so that surrounds the sand bath. And then, let me think. <laughs> And I put cork logs in different places and I used a bunch of different substrates. So I used like the flower path. I talk about that in my um, substrates video. If you want to watch that video, it's it's a good five minute video, super fast, but it just talks about my favorite substrates and why and what I use them for. So I talk about it in that video. I think that looks so pretty. I tried to make everything look really crowded. So like I try to think like how a hamster thinks. A ham hamster is like multiple paths. And if you don't give them multiple pathways, they will create them and so it's fun if you can like think of a log the log is like a safe way to like get to different parts of their cage and to duck under here and duck under there they just love things to like hide in and so super easy cheap hide ideas can be as simple as like using a mug from the cupboard that you just like don't normally use or using a cleaned out old candle jar i love using plant pots i talk about that in mine's my top 10 amazon finds video if you want to watch that i'll put the card up there but just like Think of creative things that are safe. And then I went on Amazon and I used um, Night Angels, like different spray bundles so that I could fill this cage with sprays. Because if it's like fairy themed, that makes me think like forest. And I was like, then I have to have tons of different sprays. And so then I used also the flower path substrate all throughout the cage to fill it with flowers. Oh, and I'm obsessed with how it turned out. Are you ready to see? I can't wait. I'm going to show you Frappuccino's response because he was the cutest so get ready here we go
cutie after i put him in this enclosure i filmed this a little a while back um oh my goodness he has gotten so chunky frappuccino used to be my smallest hamster because he was the youngest out of all the hamsters when we brought them from the uk to the us and now he is the chunkiest out of all of them like i look at him i'm like you are literally a marshmallow like the stinking cutest oh thanks for watching this video if you have any other requests of videos i am taking video requests so pop them down in the comments i would love to read them and if you're interested in finding like extra enrichments to add to your hamster's cage you should watch this video where i unbox a hamster enrichment box it is the best and i think you're gonna love it see you over there